Now to the war of words uh, between both sides and the recall campaign in Oak Bay. The question tonight, will there be a truce for Christmas? Barely two weeks into the recall attempt to drive Liberal Cabinet Minister Ida Chung from her seat. Both sides are bickering. Allegations that one side's breaking the rules and the other's been harassing volunteers. Stakes are high and emotions are running high as well. And the referee in this battle has been strangely silent. Amateur video posted online. Hi there, how are you? Good. Are you headed out? Uh, I'm not saying, actually. Oh, okay, that's fine. It's evidence, according to canvassers seeking to recall Ida Chong, that her supporters are harassing them. Because they have no legal status. Confirm that. They have no legal protection. The last time we sent a complaint in was to Elections BC on Monday. The anti-recall side isn't happy either, claiming the bright yellow bibs being worn by canvassers, the sandwich boards they set up, even the imagery on the recall campaign's Facebook site, break the Recall and Initiative Act by misleading voters, suggesting signing the petition will get rid of the HST. That alone uh, leads me to believe that there is confusion, so we should ensure that there is no confusion. We should ensure that this is recall, this is not the anti-HST petition. Allegations and counter allegations all unproven but still being fired back and forth barely 11 days into a two-month campaign aimed at forcing a by-election in Oak Bay Gordon Head but if you're looking for clarity don't look to elections BC this body is silent saying that the legislation governing the recall and initiative campaign doesn't say anything definitive about having observers in the mix or about the campaign imagery that the anti-recall side is so upset about. There are rules governing the behavior of scrutineers in general elections, but so-called recall observers are a new animal to BC's campaign laws. And while canvassers aren't allowed to tell voters turfing the Liberal MLA will kibosh the tax, there is nothing written in legislation about the images. With canvassers out until next February, both sides are acknowledging it may be time for a Christmas peace. We've tried to take the high road. We're not going to get involved in any uh, mudslinging. We've actually asked for that facilitated meeting to occur to find out, you know, certainly as uh, we head into that uh, sort of the next month, uh, how we can approach this. But without agreement on how to come together, it may yet take all the spirit of the season for gladder tidings to prevail. In Oak Bay, Shachi Curl, A News.